This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Getting set to go again here. Cam Newton marches back onto the field. And that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had a victory. Yeah, long road back from here, no doubt about that one. But let's face it, if you're going to go out there and compete, you want to try and end on a strong game. On him and he pulls it in. No gain there on the completion, second and ten. And that's when it's fun to play defense. When you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play, that's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. To throw on second down is Newton. And his throw is incomplete. Curtis Samuel, the one he was looking for. And that'll make it third down. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. Throwing on third down, Newton. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Jason Barrett. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. Novak to tack on the extra point. And that'll increase their lead to 28. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll probably wish he'd reconsidered here. It will cost him 10 yards as he's down at the 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. the pick six it's Newton and my goodness another interception Desmond King picks it and they will take over at the 29 yard line well this defensive pressure has been constant all game long the pass rush the coverage they've all been excellent and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand Now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they, they will take them out. But for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action. Hit them over the top. Second down following the run. This is Gordon. And fights through one man. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. 
Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he... On third down, this is Melvin Gordon. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. And there's a nice stop for the defense. They've had a tough time containing this guy all game long, but maybe they can build a little bit off of that play, a little bit of confidence, a little bit of momentum. Yeah, every now and then you can actually tackle that guy. On fourth down, Anthony Lynn says, let's go for three. This is a 26-yard attempt. And now before this fourth and two play comes to fruition, they're going to think about it and call a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. On fourth down, Anthony Lynn says, let's go for three. This is a 26-yard attempt. Here's Clements. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And sometimes pride wins, doesn't it? Because, yes, they're getting steamrolled here right now. They're down big, and they're going to try a fake field goal against them. Yeah, I'm not supposed to root, but good for them for stopping that one and showing that they haven't given up on this game. Yeah, I just can't believe, though, that they tried the fake with this wide of a margin up that big. Clock running, just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Newton. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Shepard. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. On first down, Newton. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Jason Barrett. And a return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. Do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Now the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. On first and ten, Rivers. Goes for the right side here, complete. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. And they just had another big completion there. And I think in days gone by in the NFL, you might have asked, is this a little bit of overkill? Is this rubbing it in? I don't think people feel the same way nowadays. It's the age-old argument. Then you could say on the other side, if you're going to get angry about it, stop it, right? Go ahead and stop me. And I think a lot of the times they just look at it like, let's just play the game. And however it turns out, it turns out. Rivers. And my goodness, another interception. It's the Pro Bowler Luke Kinkley that picks it. He's at the 30. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. This game's still fairly well in hand, but I think now you, you go conservative, don't you? Go into your shell and just run the football. I think you have to, but you also have to tell your backs, make sure you're really protecting the football because you're going to run into a stacked defensive front, which is why they were throwing the football before, trying to make sure they just get their backs, you know, really beat up in that situation. Now, good luck to them. And it's no good. No, he misses the extra point. And our score stays right where it is. Defense. 
Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Now Anderson. Now he's got it. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double-dog dare them yeah, to do that? I was going to ask you, maybe they, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film with those to try <laughs> something from the 15 on a PAT? I don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hold, and someone kicking the ball through the post. And we spotlight Keenan Allen as he gets set to go back to work. Uh, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him? Take him over to our team so we don't have to cover him. In. And now here is another interception. Picked by Darrell Worley. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. Well, they're not making it easy on themselves here down the stretch. Two picks now in the fourth quarter trying to hang on to that lead. Talk about keeping someone in the game. Instead of being able to shut the door, it's still cracked open because they can come back on you now. The only people who are really happy about those picks, any fantasy team that has this defense. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Now that one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On first and 10, Newton. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Greg Olson was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. That one didn't quite make it to the target, but that's not always a function of the strength of the arm of the quarterback, is it? Sometimes there's just too much pressure there. In any case, the ball doesn't arrive. to the air. Newton on second down. That's incomplete. Nearly another pick. My goodness. Well, an incomplete pass certainly doesn't look like a good play <laughs> for the guy throwing it today. As many interceptions he's thrown, he's got to feel a sigh of relief that the ball actually hit the ground and didn't go in the other direction. The Panthers on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and ten. A shotgun snap for Newton to the flat that's complete to his running back just a one yard pickup on the play and that's going to make it fourth down did they maybe play that too safely on third down i know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield but that didn't help them a whole lot i think they probably said if it's open take the shot if not get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up Desperation time. Newton, fourth down. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Jason Barrett. And the return stops just a few yards shy of midfield. They'll spot the ball at the 47-yard line. Facing this fourth quarter deficit, felt like they had to throw the ball. And on the other side, they were ready. No doubt about it. They're playing situational football. They look at the clock. They know the lead that they have. And all they're doing is playing pass on every down. Playing the pass, picking it off, and now big time in the driver's seat. Throwing here, Rivers. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Mike Adams. Oh, he's got a little daylight. The 30, 20. 10, and he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. 
Well, partner, I do know this. If you're a defensive back, you have more chances to make a team now than ever because people are using five defensive backs, six defensive back packages. Not exclusively, but way more than before. That was a nickel package there, and what a pickoff. Why is that? Why are they using that more? Because more people are throwing the ball on earlier downs than ever before. This has become a passing league, and because of that, more defensive backs on the field on most plays. Now following the interception, here's Newton. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Well, they tried to get two and ended up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. That'll be taken in the end zone. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Rivers now to throw on first down. Powering his way forward. And oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. They got 29 yards that time. It's got to the point where we see guys like that make that type of a catch. Not fair goes through my brain. That size, that speed, and now they're acting like wide receivers too. Uh, yeah, tight end one-handed catches. They're kind of like wide receiver one-handed catches nowadays. Just not right. Rivers here to throw. Get this one down to the 25. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And now a first down following that long gain. A first down throw here for Rivers. And my goodness, another interception. Picked by Daryl Worley. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on it and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. Carolina getting set to take the field. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now, <laughs> you're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. And nearly another interception. They've been around the ball all game. Now, before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. So the offensive unit called the T.O., and now we are ready to resume. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. They'll throw again from their own end zone. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Desmond King picks it, and he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. We've seen them target one of their main weapons time and time again. Maybe they went to that well too many times there. Yeah, and it's so difficult to determine how many times is too many because how many times have we seen a team go and play and say, until they stop us, we'll keep going. Well, they got stopped on that one, and it cost them six points. So they're going to go for two. Back 
to it after the pick six. Rivers. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. So tried to throw it in for two points, but the D got home, brought him down. Yeah, got home, which means there had to be good coverage. Just had nowhere to go with the ball. Typically, you try and throw quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting sacked. And this one travels out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. On first down, it's Newton. Buying time to his left. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Trey Boston. Pass the 10 to the 11-yard line. And that's where the return stops. That had disaster written all over. You've got a right-handed quarterback, a rolling left, and throwing it pretty far downfield. It's really difficult to do to try and get your body twisted around into the proper position and get anything on the ball as you heave it downfield. And that's what it actually turns into, a heave. And that's not really a good throw, is it? Not good, and we saw the result. Interception. Picked off. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. 